As living creatures, animals, plants, and we humans need oxygen so that we can survive. When we breathe, we have organs that work together and form an organ system that helps regulate oxygen in the environment and allows them to arrive at every cell we need. Oxygen isn't produced inside our bodies, so we need to get them from the environment around us. Breathing is the activity of inhaling oxygen from the environment and exhaling carbon dioxide and water vapor through our respiratory organs. Now, we're going to study even more about the human respiratory organs. Lula, did you know that our respiratory organs consist of the nose, larynx, trachea, bronchi, and also lungs? Yes, people. The air gets in and out of our bodies through the nostrils. Air can also get in and out through our mouths. But it's much better if we breathe using our nose, because mucus and fine hairs are present inside. These fine hairs function to filter the air that contains dust, dirt, and germs. That's right, Lula. Mucous membranes function to regulate the temperature of the air that enters the lungs and regulate the humidity of the air so that it will match the body's humidity. The nose is also a pathway that's directly connected with the next respiratory organ, the throat. The throat is the second human respiratory organ. In it lies the larynx and the trachea. In the inner walls of the trachea are mucous membranes and fine hairs that will always vibrate and function to stop foreign objects from entering the lungs. Have you guys ever choked on something? Have you, Lula? Yes, I have, people. Why does that happen anyways? Choking is a reflex to bring out things or food that get into the respiratory tract. Oh, I know! Reflex is a fast and automatic motion that responds to the stimuli from outside of the organ, isn't it? Yes, Lula. Also, the larynx connects the nose and the trachea. At the end of the trachea, there are bronchi, which are branches that connect the trachea to the left and right lungs. The lungs are located inside the chest cavity. When we inhale, the air enters the lungs. But where does the air go? From the bronchi, the air will go inside smaller branches called bronchioles, and it'll end up inside lung bubbles called alveoli. In the alveoli, there are blood vessels where the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide occur. Well, people, did you know that our respiratory system actually consists of two systems? which are the chest respiratory system that we commonly use, and also the abdominal respiratory system? Chest respiration occurs due to the movement of the ribs caused by the muscles between them. Inhalation occurs when the muscles between the ribs contract, so that the ribs are lifted up and causes the chest cavity and lungs to enlarge. Oh, that means exhalation occurs when the muscles between the ribs relax, and at that very moment, the ribs drop to their original position causing the chest cavity and the lungs to shrink, right? Yeah, that's right. What about our abdominal respiration, Lula? Hmm, I'm not sure about that, people. Can you please explain it to me? Abdominal respiration occurs because of the movement of the diaphragm muscle, which is a bulkhead that divides the chest cavity and abdominal cavity. Inhalation occurs when the diaphragm muscles contract, where the position of the diaphragm is horizontal and causes the chest cavity and lungs to enlarge. That means exhalation occurs when the diaphragm muscles relax, and the diaphragm curves upward, causing the chest cavity and lungs to shrink. Yes, Lula. Then what happens when we're out of breath due to smoke inhalation? We'll discuss that in the next video. See, See you! you.